Let's talk about success at work. It has been said that the happy people are those who are producing something. Be a part of producing something and here's the success part. Don't try to do it alone. If you try to do it alone, you'll get to a certain point and then you won't go any higher. But if you take on the partnership of being with God and allowing God to work with you and through you, then you will have success in your work. In 1 Corinthians 3, verse 8, it says, The one who plants and the one who waters have the same purpose, and each will be rewarded for their work. Whether you're at work or at school, or any place in between. Your success will depend in large part on the quality and the quantity of your work. So whatever you choose to do, do it with a real commitment. Don't do it halfway. Do it with excitement. Do it with vigor. Do it with joy. That's the way that God has called us to work that God has given us to do. God did not create you for a life of mediocrity or just dragging yourself along, resisting inside of yourself what you're doing. Put love and passion into your work, and it will reward you. God has created you for far greater things, reaching, for greater things usually requires plenty of effort, but that's perfectly okay with your Creator. After all, God knows that with God's help, you can accomplish the task, and God knows that hard work brings character. But hard work is not that hard if you're working with purpose, if you're working with something that you really want to do, and you bring a lot of that into it. Let me read again 1 Corinthians. There is the one that plants and the one that waters. Well, this is not just talking about a garden or growing tomatoes. It's talking about growing your life. There will be something that is planted, and the watering that's the passion, that's the enthusiasm, that's the energy, the joy, the love of doing what you're doing that keeps the plant alive and thriving. With God's help, you can accomplish great things. With God's help, you can go on to even greater things. Put love into your work. Put a real passion and a real energy. It will not only change you, it will change all of the people that are around you because it is something that people will catch. Enthusiasm is infectious. So don't treat your work as a burden. Treat it as a sure way to accomplish God's plans and a proven way to build a better life for you and yours.